episode of Cooking with Jesus. And uh, we today we're gonna cook the. Look at I'm tripping. I'm, I'm really tripping. Look. Yeah, take this off. I'm in the crib tripping on this coronavirus. You know what? I'm here to talk to you about that today, about love and trust and knowing not to be so afraid to the point where you just get closed in. And that's the way of the enemy. Trust me. I know. I dealt with, a lot of you might not know, but I deal with uh, PTSD, psychosis, anxiety, um, you name it, uh, schizoaffectiveness. You know, I was labeled with all that. But you know what? I overcame through Jesus Christ. And how did I do that? I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. So if you haven't received Jesus Christ yet, please do. This is amazing. It's, it's beautiful. What he does is he takes you away from the captivity of drugs, alcohol, whatever, unmarried sex. Yeah, it's an addiction too. So today we're going to cook um, carne asada. Carne asada tacos uh, with uh, chile. Well, I'm going to make a salsa a chunky salsa and I'm going to attempt to make a, a cucumber sauce uh, for like an appetizer with my celery sticks and then we're going to have uh, guacamole and then I'm going to make a, a pineapple sherbet uh, like a gelato type situation deal you know gelato hey my Italian friends yeah hey but uh so seriously hang in there let's do this and uh we're going to get the meat marinated and uh before that we're going to have a little word you know Get that, that mind right. Cleanse the mind so we can cook correctly, right? Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Get your Bibles. If you got one, go to your Google, whatever. Hey, you know. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we're going to start at to verse 4. And it says, love is patient. Wait, hold on. Father, please give us the word in Jesus' name. Amen in our heart. Amen. Okay. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. You know what I mean? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. I gotta have my, I gotta do maybe, you know, forget about Okay. It is not irritable or resentful, you know what I mean? Wow. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, you know? It forgives, but rejoices with the truth, right? Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And I'm just gonna go on a little bit here uh, because he says, Love, love ends as for prophecies, they will pass away as for tongues, they will cease as for knowledge, it will pass away, right? For we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away, all right? Check this out. This is one of my favorite scriptures here. And it's for my brother Rob too. It says, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I thought as a child, like a child. But I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. And my brother reminded me of this verse, and this verse is so true. So, um, you know, if we say we love people, right? The last thing we want to do is put the people we love in danger. Not just like physical danger, but emotional. You know, uh, being truthful, you know, and and letting them know the truth. And just communication is what love is. You know, God communicates us to his children all the time. When you receive Jesus Christ, please do. He communicates to us all the time. But do we communicate back? You know, the Bible says pray without ceasing. You know what that means, right? That means talk to God. Talk to him without all all day. I mean, how can you like uh, uh, sit around? No, that means to communicate. A good relationship takes communication, right? It's like I'm communicating with you guys. I hope to have a relationship with you all. So if you need any prayer requests, please put it below. 
all right, in the comment line. So let's get this meat ready. Let's marinate. Let's shake and bake. Let's do what we got to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to get some garlic chopped and, uh, I got some ingredients to go in the marinade uh, for the uh, meat here. Um, so I have uh, one cup approximately of apple cider vinegar. You know, it's to your preference. I've noticed since with Chuck's steak, it's a cheaper cut. Since I, when I cooked with it, it was more tender. The more acid I put to it. Um, the more tender it came out. So I'm gonna let it marinate for a couple of hours. But uh, yes, so I have here, I have apple cider vinegar. Then I have some spices here. Uh, I got lemon pepper, uh, sage, um, a little bit of uh, red pepper chips. And uh, I have, uh, let's see, sage. I got celery seed. I also have, um, little bit of garlic and um, let's see uh, oregano now it's up to you how to spice your food up you know season your food up uh, herbs whatever you want but here I, I like a lot of uh, seasonings because you know if you're gonna do it this is how I feel just do it I mean <laughs> so here I have um, some, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, a little bit of mustard, a soy sauce, a little sodium, uh, Worcester sauce, and uh, let's see, and uh, that's about it. Um, but like I said, you, wet or dry ingredients, you can add on to your preference. And um, I'm gonna put a little more garlic because I want this to be more garlicky than usual. Uh, because I'm feeling garlic today. So I thank you guys uh, for your patience and uh, let's get this all mixed and blended up together and then we'll pour it out of meat and we'll let it sit in the fridge uh, for a couple of hours to marinate, get those juices coagulated. I like that word, okay. Um, and then from there, we'll uh, get the uh, guacamole and the salsa made, okay. And then uh, we'll get the meat cooked and then you know, we'll eat, you know? All right. Hey guys, uh, you know, I just want to let you guys know, and some of you guys, you know, are you one of those people that look in pictures and you look at the background, make sure, you know, check if something's clean or read something or try to focus on things? Well, I hope you focused on this. <laughs> okay, because this is uh, one of my favorite verses. My mom got me this gift as a, a, a gift out of, when I got out of prison, uh, for something I didn't do for four years. I was in Chino State Prison, but God used me while I was in prison uh, My life was a mess beforehand and uh, You know, I was killing myself uh, with drinking and you know, whatever, you know, so what happened is God intervened before I died because this vessel I was a Christian but I was that prodigal son and this vessel belongs to God and he knew I, was, I almost died like I don't know maybe like ten times but he knew it was almost that time. So he had to place me in a prison. So he rescued me. I didn't go to prison. I was rescued because when I got into prison, I began to read the Bible, you know, and I didn't realize as a Christian growing up that you have to read the Bible and you have to do your best to follow, to aim to please God. And I didn't know this until after I got in prison. And then it was just like God opened my eyes like the heavens were open. And I didn't realize that my spirit, the new spirit in me, I wasn't feeding through the word, the scriptures. We have to feed. And if you belong to Christ, you have to read and study. This is the mind of God, not this, but the Holy Bible. And make sure it's a Holy Bible, which go to John chapter one in it. Uh, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word is God because the word is God. So anyway, so I was like, okay, so I got in prison. I started studying the Bible and you know, long story short, uh, 
I became the head evangelist and many gave their life to Christ and we were teaching dorm to dorm. Even the uh, COs, uh, secu- or, I'm sorry, the officers in the prison would allow us to go to dorm to dorm to dorm to teach. They would even call me up and say, Will, I need, uh, over the intercom, Will, I need a Bible, you know, or pray for me, Will, you know what I'm saying? So I got respect where I never had it before, so I thought, you know. So I'm just letting you guys know that this says, for I know the plans I have for you, uh, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, uh, plans to give you hope and a future. And when I used to read verses like this, um, and when you, when you belong to Jesus Christ, if you haven't received Christ, please do. When you belong to Jesus Christ, this actually is supernatural to your spirit. It builds you up. So you have to read and understand and study. And he says, seek me, you'll find me. So I sought Jesus and verses like this is what raised my spirit up to where I'm not walking by my feelings anymore, but I'm walking by faith and faith alone. So this is, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And to put these around your house, it actually says in Deuteronomy uh, 6, 5 through 9, it says, teach your children about me and my statues and my, I command you. And it also says, put this around your household. So when you, you you belong to Jesus Christ, he can remind you of the scriptures. So he, I didn't tell my mom to get me this, but God knew that it would help me even today it, through this cooking show. You know, my cameras are breaking down. Everything's, you know, it's kind of chaotic, you know, but I'm not giving up because God has a plan, plans to give me a hope and hope in the Bible is not the hope of the ways of the world. I hope he does this or I hope she does that. I hope they receive Christ. No, hope is knowing God's going to answer that prayer. Knowing God's going to fulfill his promises in the Bible. Knowing good is going to happen. Right? So I just thought I'd show you this in case you were in the background looking, peeping at you. So all right, so let's get this um, get this uh, marinade on the meat here, and what we'll do is we'll just smother it like so. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I got a lot in there, but you don't have to put this much. But what I want to actually do is when I cook this, I would kind of want to make a gravy sauce to add to my tacos, something different, like a fusion. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna do that like that, and we're just gonna. Do that as so, right? And we're just gonna let it, you know, sit there. And what you wanna do is you wanna try to cover it up if it's liquid like this. Try to cover every piece up so it soaks it up, you know what I mean? And then we'll do that like so. I'll get this wrapped and then I'll put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours in the meantime. Let's see what we can do. Maybe take a walk, walk the dog, you know? So, all right, God bless. Somebody's tired. <laughs> yeah. Rest. Yes, rest. Jesus says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest is good, family. Come on, let's go. Get. Get. Watch it. Go get it. Spicy, spicy hot. Okay, anyways, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut up some veggies. I got here, I got the jalapeno. Well, this is actually one of them pepino, you know, you know. Anyways, I got uh, cilantro, 
I got a little bit of parsley, uh, I got some onion, and I got some Roma tomatoes. And uh, what I'm gonna do is maybe add a little bit of uh, my favorite hot sauce. I don't wanna say the names, but you know, copyrights or whatever, I, who knows. But I'll add a little bit of the hot sauce, uh, maybe a little bit of vinegar, just to uh, give it that extra sauce, saucy uh, splash to it. So yeah, I'll cut this up and uh, maybe some lime to it and a little bit of salt. He said, do sabe? <laughs> All right, so let's get this, these vegetables cut up and uh, yeah, we'll do this. Oh, please subscribe. Hello guys, uh, yeah, so I got the vegetables cut up, I got the cilantro, a little bit of, um, not basil, but uh, parsley, onions, uh, yellow onions, white onions, your preference. You guys might see the color variations, I'm working on how to work the camera, eventually we'll get it, right? Philippians 4.13, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us, right? You guys know that, right? Amen. So I got, um, I'm gonna make guacamole here, and I got two avocados, and I got some lime. I added uh, garlic here, and then I'm gonna do a, like a puree, like a, you know, a sauce if you just wanna put it on the tacos instead of the chunky salsa. So um, yeah, we'll get that blended up. We'll chop up this uh, lime right here, and uh, let's get to work. Booyah! Okay, here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cucumber sauce, uh, mainly for my um, uh, celery sticks here, but as an appetizer, you know, and uh, I'm gonna add, um, you know, cucumbers, uh, onion, uh, maybe a little bit of parsley, and uh, here I have sour cream and fat-free cottage cheese and then I'll add a little bit of garlic to it. You know, just have it like a little appetizer before your tacos or even during your tacos or even on your tacos. There is no rules to this. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we got the, um, the garlic, uh, parsley, uh, onions, and cucumbers with a couple of celery sticks. Uh, we we'll just blend this, mix this all together, add maybe a little bit of salt, pepper, to your preference, and uh, yeah, we'll move to the next step. Okay, so what I did is I went through and I took off some of the gristle or fat, leftover fat on the meat. I tried to, you know, make it as lean as possible. Like I said, I lost like 11 pounds doing this show, so keep up with me. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have questions, prayer requests, whatever you want, just leave it below and please subscribe. I mean, I don't mean to push subscribe, but if, you know, I just would like more people to understand that uh, this life is not just by bread alone. And that's the name of the show. So, you know, and uh, so I'm just gonna let this grind up sort of like they do in the restaurants. You know, they used to top up the meat and the big fat burritos, so, you know, but I, we're going to make tacos, but I, it, it just reminds me of how finally they chopped the meat, so. Okay, so we got the meat cooking, so uh, that should be going for about another, uh, maybe five to six minutes or so, uh, depending on how you like it. Um, I grounded it up, uh, you know, kind of finely. So, I mean, it's up to you, your preference on how you want to cook it. Um, I, the other day I had chunks of it. So today I'm just, you know, cutting it down, you know, just to see how it comes out. But uh, yeah, so like I said, to your preference on what you want as far as um, how finely chopped it is. All right. And uh, let's let that cook and uh, we'll get these tortillas uh, out the way and all right.
Okay, now guys, so what we're gonna do is make a, just a slight dessert. Um, I got pineapple, frozen pineapple in there, uh, fat-free whipped cream, and a uh, little ice, uh, maybe a cube or two. So here we go, we got the meat ready, nice and hot. Uh, we got the salsa, <clears throat> excuse me. We got the salsa dip, dip, dip. You know, we make the salsa together. You know, this isn't just me, we got the guacamole. Nice and thick, right? Remember we made that little salsa for like the, uh, for the hot sauce? Um, you know, instead of thick, we can have the saucy. Then we got the chopped veggies right here. And then we got the cucumber. I made cucumber sauce, but I put um, cumin on it. Give it a little flair. But these are, this is like uh, the appetizer. So let's get a bite in there. from all evil we ask this in Jesus name amen so let's eat guys <laughs> let's see hey, this is like a burrito let's see how dare we forget the dessert yummy mm, yeah. 